All right. What is going on? Welcome back. It's your friendly giant brother bear. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I am trying a new controller. And if that doesn't work, then it's the headset and I will get rid of it for sure. Um, in the last episode, we left off trying to get more dinosaurs. As you can see, we got the Carno. And we're trying to get the Moza. I think once we incubate incubate and release the Moza, we're going to call it an episode. It's just going to be a little nice short one because I'm over 50% already, as you can see. But uh, a lot has happened since uh, the last YouTube video. Um, the Rex is getting really old with her age. Uh, expected 66, age 68. So she's going to probably die here soon. And I don't know what I need to get. Oh, see, I already have her unlocked. So once we do the Moza, we'll start working towards the T-Rex. And I'll probably do two T-Rexes if I want. Most, more than likely, because I'll probably expand it out this way. Because nothing's going to go over there. And maybe a little bit up here. I'm not sure. But uh, downside... A lot of these animals, dinosaurs, are going to start dying. They're getting, they're just getting old. I did a lot of research uh, off cam. As you can see. Uh, I don't know if I can get a large... I can get large amount of these. So the sooner I do that, the better. Um, I was fluctuating between 8 mil and 12 mil, like, consistent, c constantly. And, uh, yeah, we got all this, except for the ones we can't get. At least dinosaurs with an unfit trait, so Triceratops. Or, no, that would be Stego. Triceratops is weak. Vulnerable right there. Bam. And then dinosaurs with at least two lost fights. Uh, I just got to let that play out. Uh, but before we continue the video, I just want to point out that 97% of you who watch the videos are not subscribed and i highly recommend doing it if you enjoy the videos uh i hope you enjoy the way i do my jurassic worlds and jurassic parks in this game but uh i like this layout of the lagoon uh oh, that was off topic but uh yeah 97 percent of you if you like the videos whatsoever consider hitting the subscribe button and liking the video and commenting your favorite part i would greatly appreciate it uh, now, into the nitty-gritty. This is what I do for uh, my mosasaurs or whatever marine reptile I want to incubate and release. I do it this way because you could have the feeder over here, which I don't know if I have... I do. See, so you could put it right there. It's an, it's easily viewable from all four viewing stands. And then you got this one, the viewing platform, that goes all the way out here that can see it. And I've tested this. This is perfect for one Mosasaur and some Ichthyosaurs. So that's probably what I'll do. And I branched off this way, and I'm going to do Baryonyx and probably another herbivore on this side. And we're going to do a large amount of these over here. And then probably on the opposite side, we'll do uh, another giant herbivore enclosure right here. And an aviary at some point. But, uh, yeah, uh, I think when I left off, we didn't have very many dinosaurs. But we got the ceratosaur. We got three of them. And I'm surprised I fit them in this enclosure. And then we got the carnotaur. Got three in there. And then a patasaur, and there's just enough space to put something right here, like ground fiber or something. So I could probably put a herbivore of some sort. Uh, best way to do this is really sort by appeal. Dreadnoughtus won't happen for a while. Brachiosaurus might not happen for a while. I think I need three and a half stars. Actually, I'm getting close. Um, yeah, I think what I was working on was actually a raptor. 
because I think I could get them now. I can. Oh, so we'll do the Mosasaur, and then your boy is going to get the Raptor, because I know you need at least the Raptor pack, the four, and I want to get this to 100%. And then we'll get the T-Rex to 100%. And uh, go from there. But let's pop this. Uh, I thought I had a... I guess that'll work. Two minutes for 2.2 .2 mil, yeah. Okay, I um, and one more thing. Damn it. Oh, we'll probably... Uh, what do I want? We'll do cheaper. All right, and then let's just play it out. Speed up time and go from there. Oh, another thing that happened off cam. We had a tornado spawned right here, right where my important stuff is. Destroyed it. And I had to manually fix this. Then I had to wait for this to reboot back up. I had the T-Rex running around. I, I did have the emergency shelter going, but it's not the point. The Rex was the only one that broke out, surprisingly. But, uh... Yeah, uh, really surprised me. Another thing that I'm going to do off cam is all the dinosaurs I do have, 100%. So, like, the Gallimimus, 100%, so we don't have to worry about any of them dying, and then I'll give them long-lived long -lived traits. Triceratops, same thing. And, uh, and Kyla's horse, same thing. And I'll probably keep the enclosures the same. And go from there, but yeah. See, everything's dying like crazy. This one's cheaper than the other one, so. Uh... Oh, and I always highly recommend faster extraction, at least two of them, because uh, it just. Ah, crud. That is a bummer. Okay, well. Let's deactivate this so it doesn't really affect anything. But, uh. I do highly recommend the faster extraction because I think it knocks it down 50%. The speed, maybe even more. We'll see once we get this ex exp expedition back. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this little area because this is going to be my big ticket right here, the Mosasaur. And I think what I'm going to do, Baryonyx on either side, probably this side just because there's already herbivores right here. And uh, something else over here, maybe uh, Pachycephalosaur, one of those. And then we'll have amenities and whatnot down here. And then on this side, we'll have another tour with a big herbivore enclosure. And maybe the Indominus Rex run the gyrosphere through there. I think that's 100% uh, Moza. Yeah, it knocks it down 52%. Faster extraction times two, 75% duration, minus 52. So, highly recommend always getting two of them. It only takes 17 seconds. And if you're on three times speed, it's nothing. Everything is dying now. So the sooner I get this Mosasaur, the better. Oh, it's not 100% Mosa. That's okay. I need to start getting this Mosasaur. This is, like, really important. Okay, now this is just a temporary fix. I want to just... I just want to get the Mosasaur out as quick as I can. I don't care if it's 
large appetite, not long lived. I just, I don't care. I need to get it out. We're not doing the Jurassic World one. I think if I do the large appetite, it'll eat a lot. So let's do that. And it's already long lived. Let's just make this thing really humble. Okay. Perfect. 1.3. Uh, I need 16. Bam, bam, bam. You son of a gun. <laughs> uh, can I upgrade him? 5, 10, 15. I can't. Of course I can't. Now I have to do research. Uh, or I could just do that. Let's, we'll do that. Um, cheaper. Cheaper. And logistics. 245. What if I take one away and I do faster? Yeah. I don't really care about the money because once I get the Mosasaur, I can start doing stuff off cam. And we'll get the park rating back up. And with the T-Rex dying and all those galleys and inks dying... It's actually not that bad, surprisingly. The rating only went down probably 0.2, maybe 0.3%. So it's not that bad. And I would like to apologize in advance because I feel like crap. I always wake up and I'm just like, ugh. So. Okay, we got to get this Mosasaur going before more, more dinosaurs start dying. Um, da, 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 anything better than that no okay 223 am i making money i'm still making decent money so everything is just dying and that's not good tuberculosis okay cheaper cheaper I think that said died of old age, so. Transportation underway. Okay. Now these pylons are just a temporary thing because I just want to get the Mosasaur out. And then I think I'm going to get this. Oh, no. That is not what I need with just five mil. That is not good. Please just be a normal storm. I really don't need this right now. Uh, look for the tornadoes. Oh, these storms are so loud. It's alright, that's alright, that's alright. Well, on the on a good note, it was just a normal storm. No tornado, no nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's just dying. Okay, and then we go back over here, fix that, and then that, and we'll be good to go. I believe. Yep, okay. Let's open this. These are all dinos from Sorna, and I doubt that any of them had the long-lived trait. Yeah, no traits, no traits, no traits. I don't think any of them had traits. That's the thing. So, all right, so let's check this Mosasaur. Everything I wanted, perfect, two million. That's actually better than I anticipated, 13 beautiful 10 minutes oh wow but on three times speed we're not looking at 10 minutes realistically so okay now let's go to the power thing i i want that let's get that going positive 47 seconds and then i could just start doing everything without pylons and i think that would be massive i think i'd put i'll put a large pylon like right there 
and then whatever's connected, I'll just go, 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 and then maybe a large pylon right here. I'm not too sure. So, what about this? Can I just, I can get that. Okay, so that's already a mill. So we just, okay. We got the Mosasaur on the way. Let's just, hey, Call of Duty's ready to play. Uh, let's just focus on getting the Mosasaur and then going from there and saving some money. I might even have to fire some of my scientists because if you go over here, 132 per minute in the top right, and that's pretty expensive. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I think all my amenities are making good money, though. For the most part i'm i think i'm gonna have to swap these out with a medium maybe even a large and i'll have to move that oh i feel like crud guys uh okay so if that's four eight and then a thousand okay okay we don't need any more hotels we just need to release Mosasaur. And I do got this now, so this is actually massive. So if I delete this, we'll put one right here. Do that for now. And then we'll do one right here. Beautiful. Okay. And I believe I could just start doing this. Ooh, I don't like the the gap right there. Might have to do some amenities right here. But if I do it like this, is all this going to be in view if I go over here? No. I need to do it like right here. That's okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's an issue. So I need to be in that green. Dead Dino. Gally. Okay. Okay. What if I do just a small right here? No! Oh my god, that's a lot of money. I just messed up. Crap. Gosh darn it. It's alright. It's alright. We're alright. That's only 200,000 per viewing tower. Two, four, six. Just another mill. Darn close. Oh, I'm so mad. Wow. Wow. I can't believe I just did that. I got to be more careful. Gosh darn it. All right. And another thing, I uh, I believe I got everything I need other than the aviary stuff. Uh, I'll get the Piscivore stuff when I get the Baryonyx, but I got all the fences, so... Let's uh, connect this path. Probably go bang, bang. And then curve. Bam. And then release. And let's watch this. Oh, Piscovor from Mosasaur. Perfect.
Dr. Wu is looking at increasing the Velociraptor population. Huh, see? So we're going to be bringing in an ex-military specialist. He's a bit of a free spirit, so you'll need to keep him on track. Name's Grady. Owen Grady. My job here is to look after the well-being of the dinosaurs. I'm an animal behaviorist. First things first. Let's incubate and release a pack of Velociraptors. Owen is here to ensure everything goes to plan. Make this look pretty. And maybe some fountains right there. I'm going to do probably the fish on each side. So let's do one more. What do I want, though? More, more trees? Yeah, more trees. And then we'll go up here. And bam. All right. See, with the Rex dying and all those herbivores dying, damn near already got uh, my rating back. Which is good. Because the next time you guys see me, these pylons are going to be gone. I'm going to figure out that situation. There's going to be amenities down here. I think I'm going to put the raptors down over here. And I'm going to make a decent size enclosure. Because I'm going to put them with the Indominus Rex. Uh, we'll have our Rex back. And we'll probably have this restocked with Ankies, uh, Trikes, and Galleys. Let's just see what I need for them. Triceratops got three and a half stars. Let's pin that. Uh, let's get the Stegosaur. Because why not? Uh, faster and then cheaper. I need, okay. I go over here. Let's do faster. Bam. Okay. And I think that's good. Um, faster, cheaper. And then what was, it? I think I did the positive. I did. Okay. Bam. So we're going to have Stegosaurus coming back. So we'll Expect that too, just because it's one of the best rating dinosaurs we got for herbivores. So, 100% when we get back, 100%. Uh, Majung likes Carno, and the minimum population is one, so we'll probably we that this is a maybe. Get the Majung, not too sure. Uh, Anki Stego, absolutely. Brachiosaurus, that's a. That'd be nice, but I doubt it. Raptors, 100%. Triceratops, 100%. And then Gallimimus, 100%. So, yeah. Um, there we go. Uh, I won't release uh, the fourth Velociraptor until we get ready to record again. So, I'll probably release the three just for rating appeal. And then... Uh, because I think the next thing after this is the Indominus Rex, if I'm correct. But I'm, for that, I need Giga 25%, Raptor 25, T-Rex 50, and Carno 25. So we might as well get the Giga too. So we'll do Baryonyx. We might just do Baryonyx, Giga giant herbivore and then the giant raptor and don and indominus enclosure and then we'll do like an aviary and then another giant herbivore and i'm hoping that'll be close to five star not too sure though so expect that and i will upgrade these fences off cam as well this is a level two when it's powered level two and like i said i have i have all of them so now that the rex is gone i could just I don't have to worry about this one. I could just do it. And when the Rex gets back, we'll be golden. Won't have to worry about it. And just like that, it's done. Just gotta wait for it to build. And yeah, I think we're gonna end it there. I hope you ladies and gentlemen really enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like I said, 97% of you aren't subscribed. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Two and a half stars. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, comment your favorite part of the video. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.